afternoon. Are you in need of any assistance today, sir? No. I could help you cross the street. No. I could help you cross your yard. No. I could help you cross your... No. Ow. Congratulations on your Cannes Film Festival opening. Yeah, thank you. What a great deal, huh? I know, it's pretty wild. So it's the first animated film to open the Cannes Film Festival. Yep, that's what I understand. The first Pixar, the first Disney, it's lots of firsts. Yeah, I mean, there have been other films there. Dumbo, I think, showed in 1947 at Cannes, but uh, never, never opening. That's great. Are you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. Uh -huh. You know, I don't, I've never been. I don't know what to expect. I hear it's kind of chaos and madness over there, but it should be fun. So long, boys! Well, I think the goal for us is to do it different, you know, that every movie has its own kind of center, its own thing, uh, and that every time you go see a Pixar film, you don't know quite what to expect. Hopefully it'll be good, but it's going to be something different. How did you come up with the idea of a floating house with balloons? Yeah, weird, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was, I think a lot of animators feel this idea that, you know, we're not so used to being social and that's why we draw because we can kind of hide behind the paper and and at the end of the day as a director you know I'm dealing with people all day long and I just kind of want to hide under my desk you know so the idea when Bob Peterson and I uh, hit on this floating house visual it just felt like yeah I want to go float away in my house and it just the idea of escaping the world was kind of where we started Look at Doug. Hi there. Look. My name is Doug. Bruh. My master made me this collar so that I may talk. Squirrel. And then putting a, a, a not so famous tool, if you may, an old man in the middle of the story. Well, actually, that was one of the things that Bob, and when I mentioned Bob, Bob Peterson is the, the uh, co-writer and co-director on the film. He and I just always thought, oh, there's something really great about it. And initially, we were attracted to it because it seemed like you could get a lot of humor of just got the guy, Meh. Slam, you know, so much, yeah. you know. Um, but then as we got into it, we realized, geez, these people have these rich lives that they've lived, and all this history and wonderful stories, and there's a lot of emotion to that as well. So it just turned out uh, to be a great untapped opportunity, places we haven't gone before. You know, this is what I noticed: uh, the old man is square. There's a lot of squares, and the little boy is a circle. Mm -hmm. Yep, good eye. Is that how you guys... Absolutely. I mean, Carl... And it was all meant to kind of reflect what's going on inside, right? Carl's this... He's just this guy who wants to stay in his box and be left alone and right. stay rigid and, you know... So that just static, you know, felt very square. And Russell's like a top. He just spins around and moves all the time. And, and so, yeah, it was hopefully trying to express who they are. You guys coined a new word for it, a new technique? Simplexity? Yes. Yeah. Well, that was Ricky. Ricky Nirva, who's the production designer, he... You know, we were after this thing that, on first glance, would look very simple. But then as you get into it, you realize, oh, there's a lot going on, and there's a lot of detail and richness and, and uh, flexibility there. And that was really tricky to pull off. And the best thing that I love about the movie, though, just like what Mr. Walt Disney had said before, he said, for every laugh, there should be a tear. Mm -hmm. I mean, gosh, there's so many laughs, but there's also a couple of... You made me cry, Mr. P. Good, good. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> you know how hard it is to cry with those 3D glasses on? Oh, you saw it in 3D, okay. Yes. Cool. This is the first 3D Pixar movie, isn't it? In a way, we feel like we've done all the films in 3D. It's just we've never projected them that way, because the way our medium works, it's very three-dimensional. It's like physical. I mean, not phys it's all virtual. It's all on the computer. But you can move the camera anywhere. And so using doing it in 3D is kind of second nature, because that's the way we've been approaching them from day one, from Toy Story. Thank you so much. I love that. Uh, thank you. Like congratulations. Thanks. Disney Pixar's up. What do these do, boy? Hey, would you go that cradle contigo? I use that collar. What? Hashiwa, Hanashima. To talk with. I would be happy if you stopped. <laughs>